great way to increase exposure to your store and revenue is to have an affiliate program. Now, an affiliate program is where you let people earn a commission for sales that they refer to your store. And the way this works is they get an affiliate link and that link tracks everything. So they use the link, send the traffic to the store, a purchase is made and it automatically gets attributed to that affiliate. Now, typically affiliate software can cost hundreds of dollars per year into thousands of dollars per year if using a system like ShareASell or Impact Radius or some of the other platforms that are available. But at the very least, you're looking at hundreds of dollars per year to self-host an affiliate platform. Now, the good news for Surecart merchants is that there's a full affiliate platform built inside of Surecart and it's very easy to set up. Now, the first step is to log into the Surecart platform, app.surecart.com. Com, log in and make sure here on the top left you are in the right store that you want to set up this affiliate platform for. Then click into settings and you'll see a settings option here that says affiliates. So the next step would be to configure your affiliate platform exactly how you want it to work. Let's go over some of these settings right now together. Now the first option right here, allow new affiliates if this is toggled off, the affiliate platform feature is not enabled for your store. But if you want to use the affiliate platform, simply toggle this on. Then right here, you're going to want to enter a description. And this is where you would want to enter information such as how much an affiliate would earn for referred transactions to your store. So I'll go ahead and fill this out. Now, the amount that you would offer an affiliate varies depending on the type of store that you have. For example, Amazon offers 1% or 2%, but typical software would offer 20% or 30%. So it can vary depending on what you're selling. So I just put a note in here, earn 15% on all sales you refer. And here's some instructions to guide you along the way. Next is the option to auto approve affiliates with this enabled. When someone applies to be your affiliate, they'll automatically get approved. It's up to you whether or not you want this on or not. I personally prefer to have this toggled off and instead manually approve affiliates. And I'll show you that in a moment. Next is the sign up URL. You'll simply click on this icon to copy this. Now, alternatively, if you don't want to use this sign up, page, what you can do is use Short Triggers, which fully integrates with everything in Shortcart, including affiliate registration. So if you want to have a more in-depth form for someone to fill out to be approved as one of your affiliates, you can do that with any form plugin that is supported by Short Triggers, and you can easily integrate the form responses and push the info right on into the affiliate platform. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy this into my clipboard and I'll visit this page in an incognito window. Here I am and you can see it's pulling my store logo and it's mentioning the name of my store as well as that note that I entered in and it's asking for the affiliates name, email, and a brief description of how they're going to promote your store. And this button here, if you notice, and the colors are inheriting the primary color for your store. Next for the settings, we have the referral tracking. How do you want it to work? The first click or the last click. So first click means if one affiliate has their link, someone clicks on it, and then a week later, and they don't purchase, and then a week later, another affiliate has their link, and that same person clicks on the other person's link, which affiliate gets the commission if that person purchases? That's the, either the first click or the last click. And so it's gonna be up to you uh, whether you wanna do this first click or last click. And how long do you want that click to last? So what this means is if someone clicks on an affiliate's link and makes that purchase in four months, do you still want to have that affiliate earn 
a commission. So how long since that click to the purchase, how long do they have before it's considered, no longer considered the affiliate's commission? So you could be 30 days, typical it's 30 to 60 days, it would be a standard. Uh, so right here, there's a default of 30, but you can put in whatever you prefer. Next is a very interesting option, affiliate referral URL. So this by default is going to be set to the URL of where your shortcut plugin is installed, where your store is. However, there are cases where your storefront might be on a different, you might have two websites in the mix. So we actually do this a lot ourselves, where we'll have the store on um, uh, one website address and we'll have the front end website where we want affiliates sending all the traffic to be a different website address. For most people, it's gonna by default be set how you want it. Uh, but if you do have that scenario where you have a front end website and you have your store on a different website, it's whatever you want the affiliate to have the URL they receive where they're going to send the traffic. So, but by default, this will be fine for how it is for most people. All right, here's an option, WordPress plugin tracking. You, when you enable this, the store where you have Shortcart installed will automatically start do tracking. However, like I just mentioned, for cases where you have two websites or three websites and you want to track referrals across the websites, there's also a tracking script uh, right here. So I'll give you an example. We sell Surecart on my.surecart.com, but our main website is simply surecart.com. So that's what where we're using this. So we put this tracking script on surecart.com. The store's already at mysurecart.com, and so tracking's already there. So you have this cross-site tracking. We want affiliates to send traffic to surecart.com where the store is not, not mysurecart.com. So this is very nice for those situations where you have multiple stores that you want affiliates to, or websites where you want the affiliate to be able to send traffic to either website. Then we have the commissions and payouts. This is what you're going to be paying your affiliates. So you can either pay them a percentage of the total sell, or you can pay a flat rate. So if you just wanted to pay $5 per referred sale, you might want to use the flat rate or uh, most typically you're going to see it be a percentage. So I had mentioned above that it would be 15%. So right here, I'm going to enter in 15. Now we also have a few more settings here. So if you're selling a subscription, do you want to pay commissions on the renewals and for how long? That's what this option is right here. So if you do, you can toggle this on and it can be every subscription payment into the future, or you can cap it by a certain amount of days, maybe a year. So you'd put 365 days or two years or six months or infinity, whatever you want, you can do it right here. So that's subscription. So there's this other option here that says lifetime commissions. So what that means is if you sell multiple products, someone clicks on an affiliates link and that person purchases one of the products, but then three months later purchases another product directly on the store. Do you want to give that affiliate commission on subsequent purchases by that same customer that initially got introduced to your store through that affiliates link? That's what a lifetime commission is. So you can decide here if you want to offer this or not. Now, there's also the payout instructions. This is where you'd also put the terms and conditions of how payouts are structured. Typically, there's a delay from when the purchase is made to when you pay the affiliate because you have to account for a couple things. Number one, your refund window and the potential window of maybe a chargeback or a late refund that you accept anyway. So typically the way this works is you 
you would say if a sale happens, say on the 10th of the month, you would do payouts maybe 60 days later or two months following on the 15th of the month or some kind of uh, schedule like that, that an affiliate could estimate and know when they're going to get paid. So I'll go ahead and fill this out. So what I've entered is we make monthly payouts via PayPal. You'll have to have a valid PayPal account to receive your commission. We will pay out commissions monthly with payments processed during the third week of each month for referral sales that are at least 45 days old. For example, if a payout is being, and then it's nice to have an example. If a payout is being processed on March 15th, it will include referral sales made through or on or before January 31st. So it gives a clear idea of how they'll be paid. Also, it's a good idea to have a minimum commission for a payout. So here it says the minimum required commission for a payout is $210 and two referrals. Okay, so I'll go ahead and click on save. Now I wanna walk you through what the experience is for the affiliate, for you getting notification of the affiliate application, approving it and all of that. So I'm back to the page to apply. I'll go ahead and fill this out. So it's all filled out. I'm gonna click on submit affiliate request. Now what's gonna happen is an email is gonna be sent to you, the merchant, and there's another screen that I'm gonna show you where you can approve and manage your affiliates. So I'm back on the platform and I'm going to click on the affiliates tab and there's the options here for managing the affiliates. I'll click on affiliates right here. It's going to show me a list of the active affiliates and you'll see over here on the top right it says requests and there's a number there that says one. That's because there's one request from me. So I'll go ahead and click on it and here's where you're going to see a list of their requests, the date and time, the name, the information. Now when you click on it, this little pop-up will appear and you can see all all the information that was collected, name, email, and the information on how the affiliate intends to promote it. And at this point, you have three options. You can delete the request, you can deny the request, or you can approve the request. So I'm going to click on approve. Now what ends up happening is you see the badge here change to approve. The affiliate's going to get an email and it's going to invite them to sign up and they're going to have an interface like this where they can log in to track the sales that they're getting as well as to see the, the link that they need to use, their affiliate link for tracking everything. So in here, you'll have a list of the active affiliates. Now now, you might be wondering if I just approved this person, why am I not seeing them there? And that's because there's more steps for this affiliate to do. They just got an email. They need to click in and create a password. Once they do that, they'll be shown here. Here is an option where you can see all the clicks that have come through for from your affiliates, new clicks, referrals, as well as the conversion rate. Here you can see a list of all of the referrals that have come through if you want to dig into them. Now when they come in, they will be under the option of renewing. It, to pay them out, you would approve the referral and then you would process payouts. And right here is where you would process all the payouts for affiliates that might be owed a referral fee. Now, this is what an affiliate would see when they log into the affiliate platform. So they have their own interface where they're going to see an overview. Then they can look at their clicks, referrals, payouts, and as well as their settings. Their settings is pretty much just the link that they have that they want to send traffic to, as well as the PayPal email address that you would want from them in order to pay them. So you can see the overview is very motivating for an affiliate because it's showing me all the relevant stats and how I'm doing as a partner of yours. I can see the clicks, the referrals, the conversion rate. I can see what I'm owed. As well as underneath it, I can see all of the transactions that I have referred. And I also get a little bit of information on these. I know the date and time. I know what was purchased. And I also know the order number in case I'm offering some kind of incentive. So this is perfect for an affiliate to be able to see exactly how they're doing for you. Now in 2024, we're going to take this one step further. We're going to bring all of 
these stats into the plugin of your store so your affiliates can log in there and see pretty much the same stats right there inside of your store. However, I would say as an affiliate myself, I prefer the platform experience as an affiliate because I can be an affiliate for multiple stores and easily jump between stores to see how I'm doing inside of those programs. So there is a network benefit that you receive as a merchant and an affiliate using this centralized system. But as I said, we're also bringing this UI into the plugin if you would prefer to have your affiliates there. But that's all there is to setting this up. I know the video is a little bit long, but that's because I was explaining each and every setting. It really just takes a few minutes to set up. It's super easy for your affiliates. It's super accurate and very easy to configure complex things such as multiple sites and all of that. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.